Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to Old Sarge Collects. My name is Dan and today I'm going to be celebrating an awesome member of this community. One who uh, participates in all of the VRs. One who has an amazing channel. One who just uh, surpassed five years on YouTube and he's been here for a long time. Also, he's celebrating 1500 subs. And um, not only that, but he also is an amazing artist. And if you haven't figured out by now who that is, that is Scott from Reindeer Studios, everybody's best friend in YouTube. And so, like I said, Scott's celebrating um, 1,500 subs and five years on YouTube. And he's asking us to show, uh, talk about our favorite uniforms. Well, he didn't specify. So I'm basically taking this as share our favorite uniforms on cardboard. Um, and so, you know, for most of you, n most of you already know that I spent um, a long time, the majority of my life, I spent wearing the uniform of United States soldier. Um, and so, I've got a couple of a couple of um, uh, military cards here to represent those uniforms. And in particular, these are early 1950s, I believe from like 1950 or 1951 in particular. I, I think it was before Korea um, that these cards were made. But these are Dutch chocolate cards. And they are from a NATO set. So that's the North Atlantic Treaty Organization, NATO. And NATO was formed after World War II. Um, so the NATO alliance came about after World War II. And, and this Dutch uh, chocolate company came out with a series of three booklets um, per ten, you know having having chocolate cards and so they it covers all of the different um, NATO countries and it has everything from Greece to you know uh, different countries uh, France and, and England and so on and so forth and so um, I picked out two cards that represent America and the United States and in particular the United States Army as there are cards from the Air Force and the Marine Corps and the Navy. But um, so the United States Army, and um, I just love the uniform. I miss wearing the uniform every day. It was a very important uniform for me. And I've got an example of two different uniforms you would find a soldier wearing. So the first one here in this card is a dress uniform. And um, I spent a long time of my career as an Army recruiter. Um, wearing, you know, dress uniforms. And, and then what you see here is this soldier is saluting a kid, or he's probably um, returning a salute because kids love to salute soldiers. And so um, here it is, a kid saluting a soldier, and the soldier is returning that salute. Here's the back of the cards. As you can tell, it is a um, chocolate card, and it's from Belgium. Uh and the Netherlands, it looks like right here, Belgium and then and Holland, uh, so the Netherlands, and so it's pretty cool. Um, I've got the entire set of these cards, all three series. Here's another one. Now this one is more of a field uniform, and uh, here you have a soldier walking through, you know, the field, walking through um, the you know the bushes, the fields, the trees, and and he's carrying his rifle. He's got his his uh, kit with him around his waist, where he's got extra magazines and things. He's got his helmet, which I have a helmet also from my service. And uh, this particular soldier is a staff sergeant, based on the rank on his sleeve. And uh, just love the uh, the uniforms um, of the day. You can you can date a soldier on when they served, or a picture of a soldier on when they served, based on the uniform that they're wearing. So. That's pretty cool. It's almost like a baseball card. You can tell, you know, what time frame a baseball card is from based off of the the card itself. And so, so anyway, these are uh, the two cards that I have representing a military uniform. And then now I'm going to switch over to baseball. And if you guys don't know, if you haven't been following my channel, I am a Houston Astros fan. Always have been. But the origins of the Houston Astros came from the Houston Colt 45s. 
Now, the Houston Colt 45s were around from 1962 to 1964. And uh, 65, they switched over to being the Houston Astros. But I still love the old Houston Colt 45s uniform. And you can see here, um, I've got a 1963 Topps Dave Gayusti, um, who was a pitcher for the Houston Colt 45s. And this is on a 1963 Topps. I think I already mentioned that. Um, then you have next to him a 1964 Topps um, Colt 45s card of Hal uh, Woodchick, and who was another pitcher uh, for the team. And so, uh, just love those old Colt 45s uniforms where you've got the uh, name, the team name spelt out Colts, and then you've got a picture of a Colt revolver, which they changed that because they felt like the revolver was too um, aggressive. And so, anyway, here is an early, I don't know if you can tell it. Let me back up, back this camera up a little bit. Here is an early um, schedule or program for the Houston Colt 45. So, just a, another awesome addition to my Colt 45's collection. I've got the entire... I've got the entire um, 1964 team set of the Colt 45s. And um, so, yeah, anyway, these are my Colt 45s. Here's the back of the Dave Giusti card. And it says that Dave pitched a one-hitter in his first pro game. That is pretty cool. And then for the Hal Woodshit card... Here's that famous orange. Um, so Hal Woodchick had been with Detroit and then with Scott's team, Cleveland, in 58. And then he was with Washington for a while, then back to Detroit. Poor coming over to Houston um, and in 62 when Houston was a expansion team. So anyway, everybody, that's... My video response for everybody's best buddy, Scott, at Reindeer Studios. Again, congratulations, Scott, on Milestones. Everybody take care. Keep hunting the good stuff, and thanks for watching.